Hello everyone, welcome to speech class. My name is Bill Kopenschlag. I'll be your professor for the semester. Um, you can just call me Professor K. Most people can't pronounce my last name. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give you a brief video introduction so you can see who I am, what I look like, and get a little bit more about my expectations for the course. Uh, most important thing to note is that this is a seven week class so it's going to go by very very quickly you're going to have a lot due every week um, it's not my intention to drive you crazy but that's the way it has to be set up with such a short semester um, due dates will always be on Monday nights well if you look at um, the course content section of your blackboard page to the left of your screen you, um, you'll see a page come up with a bunch of different units there um, they look like envelopes and it'll say unit 1, unit 2, and all the way through unit 7. Um, so every Monday, a, un a new unit or two will be due for you. Um, the first due date has unit 1 and unit 2 due. Uh, the reason for that is because they're kind of lighter on work. Um, it's really just reading the semester, getting used to the class, that sort of thing. You're not really getting into any heavy speaking or research or anything yet. Um, to find the due dates, you could click on the calendar part on that left-hand part of your screen in red, um, right by where the course content is. So you can access the calendar, and you'll see on the calendar all the due dates on Mondays. So if you just click on those days, it'll tell you what to do that day. But it's, it's good to know that pretty much every Monday expects something to be due and turned into me. I recommend, if possible, to do it a few days early because we're dealing with video and some technology. Uh, sometimes there are problems and with uploading things or something like that. So you want to get it done. You don't want to upload it at, last, at the last minute and run into any trouble. Um, because again, seven week class, there is no late work accepted. I can't take late speeches just because I'm always constantly grading for the next one. So it's impossible for me to take anything late from you. You know, if it's a day late because you ran into trouble, we could talk about it and I might be able to work something out with you. But in terms of having a real late speech and wanting to hand things in uh, a week late or so, I just can't do it because I can't physically grade them all. Um, so the policy is no late speeches. So make sure everything's in on time. Um, now, you look over the semester, and, and this usually freaks people out, you do have to have an audience for your speeches, and you do have to film them. Um, you could film them using a lot of different things. Right now, I'm just using Photo Booth. I have a Mac, and I'm using that to record this message for you. Um, a lot of you I know have phones, smartphones with video. You're welcome to use that um, or any other video re recording device that you have. It really doesn't have to be anything very, very complicated. You know, you're not editing video, you're really just recording from start to finish your speech. And then you'll upload it to um, Connect, which is a portion of Blackboard. Very simple to upload your speech. And then I'll be able to watch the speech, and I will provide comments during in the speech. I'll actually be able to type them in for you, so you could watch the speech back and see it in what areas you need to improve. So... You always want to watch each speech before you do the next speech because I'm really kind of looking to make sure that you're improving and listening on to what I say. I'm going to leave you off with a couple of tips for how to do well in this class. Um, and I can't emphasize enough, this is only seven weeks. So really, you're going to have to work hard. And that's the expectation here because it's a short semester. Um, it's to your advantage that you know you don't have to go to the classroom, which is nice, um, and that it's a pretty short semester and you can get some three credits in seven weeks, which is pretty cool. But it does come with some downsides. You're going to have to find no audience for your speech, um, hoping that most of you are able to do that. And if you do have trouble, there are some ways we could do it. Sometimes you can email classmates and meet on campus. Or, you know, you might just have to use more of your resources. Go to a bookstore, a mall, something like a coffee shop, and ask some people to, to be in your audience. So we can work on that. If you have trouble, you can ask me. 
Um, so that's number one is to really remember that it's quick and you're going to have to get everything done. Number two, you will not pass the course if you simply post the three speeches and do the work you need to do without reading instructions and without reading the information that's provided to you in each unit. In each unit, there's readings and there are rubrics for the speeches that are due. And the reason for those is because that, that's really where you're learning. I'm not there to be able to teach you a class. So reading those documents and looking them over and seeing what you're being graded on is extremely important. Uh, I could tell you right now, most of the students who fail this class, I just got done teaching a se another seven week. This is my seven, my second seven week in a row. And most of the people who failed were, didn't read the instructions. So they would turn in speeches, but the speeches didn't do anything that they were asked to do. So, for example, you'll, re you'll read about how to do an introduction and that an introduction has to have uh, an attention getter at the beginning where you get the audience's attention and they have to establish credibility. You'll read how your speech has to have main points and that you have to make those main points clear. You'll read about a conclusion. You'll read about citing sources. Now all those things are what you're being graded on. So if you don't read what is expected of you, it's going to be very difficult to give me a speech that is going to pass. So it's not enough just to post speeches because it's a speech class. It's also not enough just to do all the other work in class and not do speeches. It's a public speaking class, so speaking is the biggest part of things. So you have to do all the work, um, and you have to do all the readings. And I know it's tough in seven weeks. Um, I'm here to help you, though. You can email me at any time. Please, if you do have an issue, email me as soon as possible. I prefer, and I'm, and it's easier for me to work with you if you let me know of an issue beforehand or as it happens rather than a couple weeks later or towards the end of the semester where I really don't have much time or resources to help you out. Okay, so check the calendar. Your first due date um, is Monday. I'm not sure offhand. I don't have it in front of me, but it's a Monday coming up. It's not uh, this Monday. It's the next one. So um, it's a week from today, I believe. And that'll be units one and two. Like I said, those units are going to be reading the syllabus, um, sending me an email with your information, just some simple things like that, but important things for the class. So make sure you read and understand the syllabus. And again, in each unit, when you open it up, the very first thing is going to be a list of what's due for that unit that section. The best thing to do, print that first page out and make yourself a checklist and check off each thing that's due and make sure that you do get everything done that you're supposed to. Um, your first speech will be in unit four, so it's about three weeks away. Um, if you want to start thinking of a topic now and, and you want to just I open unit four so you can access it. If you want to look at the assignment, start planning now when to get a group together to, to do your speech and record and start thinking of a topic. You may do that. Um, the only thing I ask about working ahead in the class is that you don't do a second speech until I get you a grade for the first one. So no doing all three speeches of the semester before I get you feedback, okay? Um, but really for the first three units, you may work ahead if you want. You can even go into the fourth unit and, and look over what's due and start the speech if you want to do that early. But um, you, can't get, you can't do the second speech, which is in unit five, until you get my feedback from the first speech, which is in unit four, just because the feedback is going to help you get better. Okay, um, that's really all I'm thinking of offhand, and I just wanted to send this message as a greeting and, and to wish you luck. If you follow along and you ask questions and you do well, I, th I don't see any reason why you, you'll have trouble with the class. Um, I know public speaking is very, very nerve-wracking for some of you. It was for me when I was in school, and that's why I decided to teach it. I decided to beat it and, and conquer my fears, and, and now I'm a professor of it. So... You can get there if you're, if you're one of those people who's worried. Take a deep breath. Do the best you can. Follow the instructions and follow the structure of the speech. 
and you'll be okay. Just because you look nervous isn't a reason that I'm going to, I'm going to fail you. Um, and I, I should mention one last very, very important thing. You may not read directly from a paper for your speech. So this isn't writing an essay or a report and just reading it to, the, to your audience. Um, in the unit, you'll learn to write a keyword outline, which you'll be able to reference during your speech. But there should be no full sentences. We shouldn't see you actually reading a script to the class. You should be speaking to the class. I don't ask you to memorize it completely either. I ask you to know your speech enough so that you can use your keyword outline as a guide. And, and you'll read more about that as we go. But again, any questions, concerns, anything like that, please email me as soon as possible. And keep your emails in Blackboard, in this Blackboard system where I sent this. Um, if you email to the, to the BCC account, it's harder for me to get. I don't get them all. And I like to keep everything condensed inside the course. OK, so again, um, Good luck. I'm glad to have you all in class and get in touch throughout. You'll, I'll be posting throughout reminders of due dates. If I see any issues, recommendations, things like that, I will be in touch. I'm very hands-on and I'll be able to, to help you as we go. So thanks for watching. I hope you watch this. If you watch this completely through, you're on the right path because you did the first thing you were supposed to do. So get started on Unit 1. Open that up. Get used to the class. Look at the syllabus then get Unit 2 done, and, um, and you'll be done the, the first part. And then Unit 3 will be due the following Monday. So, you know, check out that calendar, check out the, the course content and everything else. And if you have any questions, please do send me an email. Thanks a lot, and, and good luck.